As a disclaimer to this video, uh, anything you're about to see in this video is for pure entertainment purposes only. Uh, I take no responsibility for your actions. Any modifications you do to your firearm is your responsibility. With that said, when it comes to trigger jobs, um, I personally do not recommend trigger jobs that require aftermarket parts, aftermarket springs, um, and it has nothing to do with lawyers in a self-defense situation. For me, it is pure function and reliability. The manufacturers have specifications on certain weight of springs for a reason. With that said, um, you can get the best out of your trigger if you simply just polish up a couple of components um, and just dry fire and live fire. The trigger will get better, plus you will get used to it. With that said, let's head on inside. I'm going to show you areas of this firearm that you need to polish and uh, to get the best out of your trigger. So let's head on inside. Okay, so the first part of the uh, um, trigger job is going to be to disassemble the slide. We are going to polish the striker face and polish the plunger. In order to do that, we have to remove the rear sight. Um, I have some sights already for this, so once I pull these out, I will be replacing them out. Um, <clears throat> if you don't know how to do this, there's tons of videos on how to pull that out. Uh, to save time on the video, uh, I'm not going to go over that. So I'm going to go ahead and disassemble this off video. I will bring you back to show you the parts after I polish them. And then I'm going to go ahead and disassemble the frame and show you what parts we're going to polish on that. Here we are, frames disassembled. Uh, to save time, like I said, I went ahead and did it off camera. There's tons of videos out there. All the shields are the same. Um, so here's the parts that we, once I get it disconnected here, um, I'm going to be polishing the back of the sear and we're going to be polishing these areas here, the uh, shepherd's hook, uh, polishing the top of the, um, the part that disconnects the firing pin block. Um, also to give a shorter reset, let me get it to focus here, I'm going to be opening that shepherd's hook ever so much that's going to give me less uh less slack and less um travel on the reset also while i have this apart i'm going to uh work on flat flat sanding uh, focus i'm going to be flat sanding this part here this is the part that engages the slide during slide lock so I'm just going to uh, flat sand that a little bit, take the rough edges off uh, to make it easier for the uh, slide lock lever to work. Other than that, it's pretty simple. I'll bring you back once it's all done and uh, show you the parts after I polish them. All right, so here we are. The, the slide has been completely disassembled. Um, as you can see, I went ahead and installed my fiber optic front side on there. Uh, the areas that we polished is the front face right there where it makes connection with the sear and I just roughly just kind of went around the whole edges there there was some uh, some wear marks so where there was wear marks I just kind of buffed up a little bit same thing here um, after the buff after the polished job uh, I did frog glue the parts and then here is the uh, uh, firing pin block safety um, you don't have to worry about this uh, the deepest part in here. The only areas you really want to need to polish is the front face and the uh, the the biggest rings out here. Um, same thing here with the uh, uh, frame. I polish the trigger bar, top face, polish the sear, open the arm up or the uh, shepherd's hook just ever so much. Filled that little spring in there with grease, and uh, yep, function testing it. And I also uh, flat sanded the uh, slide lock lever to hopefully uh, make it a little easier um, on releasing the slide. So now I just need to reassemble with the. Uh, uh, old fiber optic sight that I had from my MMP Shield 9 um, that I replaced out with some high vis. 
these here are the Wilson or the uh, Williams I'm sorry and uh, so yeah now I just need to reassemble and uh, we'll come back and do a function test and that should be it for the video so hang on okay so we're all back everything is uh, reassembled with the, uh, the sights and everything put on there uh, we'll go ahead and danger check okay kind of dangerous now um, so let's go ahead and let's just function test the, the trigger it's got a nice audible reset uh, there was nothing wrong with the the trigger to be honest with you from the right out of the the gate but um, just a good clean and polished job it was wonders on a trigger And that is it. Now to finish up the trigger job, uh, what I will be doing is just sitting here and just dry firing the trigger just to work it all in. And uh, yeah, um, if you have any questions, please leave them below in the comments. I'll do my best to uh, try to help you out the best that I can. And like always, I want to encourage you to be performance driven in life and demand greatness. Thanks for watching.